Okay, we're gonna inspect this roof. This is a uh, this is a uh, vacant house, so we don't have the ability to go inside. However, uh, right off the ladder here, I'm noticing that the uh, flashing here around the chimney is exposed. Looks like the a repair was made here, uh, probably by the previous homeowner. Uh, it's done incorrectly. That material should be uh, woven into the flashing, and exposed nails are visible here. Let's see. I think we have probably have the same thing on both sides to a degree. Yeah, they. We're going to want to rebuild both sides of the chimney. Um, what do we have? We have missing shingles. Looks like wind damage here. There's been a repair in the recent past done over here, which is the reason for the uh, shingles laying around. I'm not sure who did that, but they didn't do much for cleanup. So, um, look at this. We have. Here's, uh, these are just some of the examples of what we see. Um, this is a wind turbine uh, attic vent. Here's one and there's one down there. The tops are missing on them, so it looks like uh, the uh, bank had, had uh, someone come out here and secure these with, with plastic, probably because they are leaking. And uh, we'd want to replace these. The hoods are missing, you have to replace them actually. So we'll... Uh, We'll write an estimate to replace those two wind turbines. Uh, the ridge cap up here on the top line is deteriorating. The roof's getting old. Um, the roof's got about three or four years left in it. But the ridge cap, this is an old uh, asphalt type ridge cap and it fails uh, a few years before the rest of the roof does uh, on, on your standard um, uh, fiberglass type shingle, which is what this is. So we're gonna we're gonna replace about 45 feet of ridge and the uh, two turbine vents. There's a couple missing shingles over here that I'm seeing as well. Just a couple uh, in the field, and then we're gonna want to clean up the mess here too. Just some of the stuff we find on roofs. Uh, some of these roofs that are getting up in age uh, have a little bit of time left in them, but. And we try not to do overdo it and put too much, you know, work in that's really not necessary. Uh, just just enough to get it whipped into shape so that it's gonna the the roof will uh, run the rest of the course of its life for the next two to four years. <laughs> 